Hi everybody, it's me, Kristen. Um, I just wanted to make this little vlog about the Arizona um, shooting. Um, I wrote a couple of blog articles about my feelings about it. Um, of course it's tragic and awful what happened, but I think that um, I'm a kind of a liberalish person, but I kind of feel like people should be talking more about the actual situation than throwing a political football of, you know, this blowing the um, kind of rhetoric argument around so much. Like, of course, you know, it's not good to have a culture where politicians are telling other people to, um, shoot candidates or, um, you know, bring guns and whatever else, but I, I just feel like the left has gone a little too far in not understanding the actual situation of the shooting. Um, I personally think that the shooter, Jared Lee Laughlin, um, for looking from at his, I can't of course diagnose him, but um, looking at his videos on YouTube, seems to me like he's probably schizophrenic or having some kind of psychotic episode or something, which like I can totally relate to the the disorganized thinking, the delusional thoughts, and doing things that don't make any sense and. I just feel like it probably wasn't a crime that was motivated by any kind of real political agenda other than he may... I actually think he probably liked Gabrielle um, Giffords and in his messed up mind he instead shot her and all those other people. Um, I don't know, I can't say that he liked her but just like you know, if you went to see her and got her signature, and it just seems like, you know, who knows what he was really thinking. But, um, and of course I've never shot anyone or, you know, stabbed anyone or anything like that. Um, I'm not a violent person, but, um, I just think that, um, having been myself psychotic at times, I can understand that his motivation would probably not be mostly political. It would probably be that he is um, struggling with insanity and um, psychosis. Um, so I think that kind of has been lost in the discussion um, of this situation. Um, I mean, I think that it is important to talk about the rhetoric surrounding, you know, of promoting violence and guns and stuff, but this not, I don't really think it's an appropriate time. I think it's gone a little too far, and also I just wrote a little thing on my blog about how I feel like, you know, the left has as if you can talk about everyone, you know, in one monolithic term, but it seems like the left has, um, sort of, they, they haven't recognized their own culpability in creating stereotypes and, um, promoting hatred of groups of people because every time, it seems like every time I read an article about this situation, it's filled with pejoratives about crazy people, lunatics, psychos, psychopaths, wackos, nut jobs, loonies, you know, every kind of pejorative you can have for a crazy person or for people who are mentally ill. That's what they use instead of, you know, calling people mentally ill and discussing the real problems and aspects of mental illness and mental health in this country. So, um, 
and what I think it does is, you know, the left is, you know, correct in saying that rhetoric that dehumanizes and objectifies people is not good because then it's easier to target people and invalidate them and hurt them. And also that, um, but people on the right and left are doing that with mentally ill people. Um, and I'm not, I don't agree with what Jared Lee Loeffner or whatever his name is did at all. Um, of course, it was wrong and horrible. I can't even imagine the gruesome scene that was there. Um, but um, I think it's also wrong to just uh, lump millions of people into a category of crazies, loonies, nutjaws, wackos, and also to really to refer to him as all those things when, you know, he's probably mentally ill. <laughs> um, it gives us no understanding of his problems or what motivated him if we just write him off as a whack job. Um, it, it, you know, we are able to draw the world into good and evil by dismissing people as evil, demented, crazy, less than human, uh, things like that. But the world is not really divided into good and evil. It's, I would argue. <laughs> um, I don't believe that good and evil really exist. I think that um, bad things happen and bad things happen to good people. And, um, but, um, I think painting things as good and evil or black and white dismisses the complexity of the situations and it leads us to misunderstanding and non-comprehension of, is that a word, non-comprehension? <laughs> Incomprehension? I don't know. We can't understand why people do things if we just say, oh, they're evil and they were possessed by the devil or something, you know, we can't, um, fully appreciate situations when we just dismiss the very real aspects of it. So anyway, if you want to read my little blog articles, I probably said it more succinctly in there, but, um, I just think this whole fallout of media rhetoric is kind of insane. Um, it's disappointing that um, there's no real discussion about the mental health care system or mental health um, problems or what, you know, what could have motivated him to do such a thing. And of course, you know, we haven't even really heard about the people who were injured or killed. I mean, it's all about this political football of, oh, what's the right saying? What's the left saying? And I think it's just, you know, it shouldn't be about that. It should be about what happened in Arizona, not what happened on Fox News or what happened on CNN. I don't know. I just think it's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, that's my two cents. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye!